What's in your socks? Uh, uh, these are foxes and a uh, rabbit. Foxes. Yeah, it's, uh, just one rabbit. So today, traditionally, you have to have access to a hospital and all the equipment inside of it to get really accurate uh, diagnostic tests done for many diseases. And at Mammoth, we're really leveraging CRISPR, and specifically CRISPR diagnostics, to democratize access to that type of molecular information. Myself and uh, one of my co-founders, Ashley Taranchi, we had both were finishing up our PhDs, and we both saw that uh, there's so much activity, especially at a place like Stanford, uh, commercializing various uh, technologies out of the lab. And especially uh, in areas like therapeutics and machine learning, there's just maybe a new startup every day, it seems. Um, but in other areas like diagnostic, there, there seemed to be a lot less activity, and we were really kind of curious about why that was the case. And we saw that really a lot of the same technologies have been used for many decades now. So we decided that there's got to be a better way, and maybe we don't even know what it is at that time, but that better way has to be out there, hidden, locked up maybe somewhere, maybe it's yet to be discovered. After we founded the company, shortly thereafter, uh, two at the time graduate students, Janice Chen and Lucas Harrington, uh, had made these really big advances in CRISPR diagnostics. And the moment we saw these papers, we knew that this was uh, the way that diagnostics was going to go in the future. So we immediately uh, reached out to them and to Jennifer about forming a team. Uh, and they were very entrepreneurial and very interested and totally shared our vision of democratizing diagnostics. So in the end, it was a complete no-brainer for us all to team up and to form Mammoth Biosciences. The most important trait for an entrepreneur is easily grit. I mean, it goes along with all these ideas around perseverance and really just not taking no for an answer as long as you believe in the final goal. On the one hand, I'm very lucky that I've grown up in an environment where I have that opportunity, and I definitely don't take that for granted. Because not everyone even has uh, the opportunity to become an entrepreneur, because maybe they have to worry about other things. And I think as a society, we should definitely do more so that people uh, from any background can really take risks and take the many extreme risks you need to take to really be uh, an entrepreneur. If you believe in something, you shouldn't give up, because there's going to be so many times along the way that it seems like it's not going to work, and it's really easy to get disillusioned. But if you believe in the dream and you believe in what you're doing, then you have to persevere through it.